Ah. Recording in progress. All right, I'm unmuted. Perfect. That's what I was waiting for. Hello, everyone. Um, this is Keith here. I'm back. Let me get started on a very small bit of uh, what I plan on doing with this Titanic. All seven people that have probably seen my video so far. Okay. Wait for it to buffer, and we are here. All right, perfect. So, go ahead and we will get started. Uh, before I do anything, there is one thing I want to do, and it involves, believe it or not, Cobweb. We are going to use cobwebs, combine the top of this mast to the other mast. I have no idea what the dimensions are going to be, so we're going to find out here. So set that as the first point. Fly all the way over to the end. Should be the uh, second end. So we got 309 blocks long. Okay, so let's go with 50. So we'll count as that's the first block. So 309. And then we're going to count 50 back. And that is 34. That is 50. Okay. Out right, of the other side, we're going to do the same because it's not a straight line. Yeah, the, uh, the cord that connects the top of the ship, it droops down, you know, like any any string would. That, that's the first block. Forty-nine and fifty. Okay. Now we're gonna build down one. And we're gonna go ahead and eliminate that block. We're gonna go. Let's go forty. I don't think I marked it, so I'm just going to mark it real quick just to be safe. So this is our first position. And second position right here, 39. And 40. So we'll go back here and we're gonna do the same. On one there, get rid of that. This is the first block. Two, three, four, and then we'll just drag so you know we'll just drag it. that and 
So we got 50, 40, and then 50, 40. That's 180 in total. I think it was 309. So that means that gives us nine blocks left to go. So this next one, we're going to go 30. Position. Okay, that's 32. Right, did I measure that from the right place? That and that. I'm gonna fly over to the other side. We're gonna do the same. So 30. Be oh, keeps adding another one for multiple clicks for some reason. So, good thing we measure. So, that's 30. And now we're going to go. So, that's 50, 40, 30. That's 120 on each side. That gives us uh, 69 blocks left. Next will be 20. Back over here to the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Twenty. Okay. And then I have twenty nine blocks left to go. So we're going to do N. So one, two, three. One, two, three, four. We should have nine blocks left to go. So we'll just uh, join on this. One, two, three, four. Perfect. That's uh, that's exactly what we're going for. It uh, actually looks pretty good. Okay, and I'll, I'll get into this later, but these funnels technically should be connected with cobwebs down to the boat deck below, but that's, um, we really get a really, really crowded down here. So I'll uh, save that for last, depends on how much motivation I have after doing this, this is gonna take hours. Mm. So I have printed out blueprints and we're going to start all the way at the back. And we're going to go from the very, very top deck, work our way down, start here. Doors and windows out, spider webs anymore. We're going to need stairs and probably quartz block. block. There it is. So this is the elevator shaft right here. And looking at my notes, there should be one window here in the middle. Um, let's make it a little two, and then get rid of that. Pop that there, get rid of this, that there. And this is the second class entrance. So these doors, according to my notes, are probably like right here. So we're gonna that cover that up, cover that up. 
And this door is going to go, put it right here. Uh, yeah, that looks right. And then there are two windows. You got one window here, and then another window here. And it's going to be the same on the other side. Window or there. First window there. Or symmetrical on either side. Break that. Here, just like that. And then the other door in the same spot right here. And here we go. That's kind of what we're dealing with on the outside. And this is the second class entrance. So what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna as well just stick with oak. Find out where to put these because you either put it on the top or put it on the side. Um, might be better. We're going to go second class. Remember if I Now, was it centered on the other side? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, it was. Okay. Okay, so there's our entrance to second class, and there's also an elevator. Looking at my notes, the elevator is right in the middle. It looks. So let's go ahead and. So how much? How many blocks do we have? We have one, two, three. Here to there is nine. Okay, that's that's actually perfect. So let me just get rid of that. Stairs are going to be three. And the elevator is going to be in the middle, and it'll also be three. So the elevator goes to, and how long is it here? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, same deal. So the elevator is going to be just right in the middle. Here, here. Here. The elevator is right here. And low stone. It's a nice little light. Um, I also got to find out how to you know, put lights around. I'm not really that like, terribly advanced with the decorating in Minecraft, but I mean, I can figure something out, I'm sure. Okay, now there's our elevator, and the stairs are going to start. Where do I want the stairs to start? The stairs wrap around. So the stairs come down here onto the next level. The next level is right there. What happens if I see? Start here, maybe. There's
Yeah, because the stairs only go to the end. Actually, we can. How many more blocks we got? We got two more blocks. What? Let's. matter. Actually, let's go ahead and build another set of stairs. And if uh, my math is correct, this actually is a, the stairway doesn't end. It goes down to like E deck or something like that. So this just whole nine by nine area is going to be just a staircase down. Go ahead and up. Go one more. And sure actually this is our elevator shaft that's pocket looks like yeah I can figure this out extend this a little more So this is our elevator still. So we still have that space right there for the elevator. And then we're just going to go stairs, 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 stairs. And the next thing we got to do is and just kind of box this all in. Ornania, this is definitely going to be time consuming. So if I make a whole bunch of these videos and y'all skip ahead just to me working, I, I, I get it. I totally understand. For now. And then I'm actually going to probably redo some of the, actually, I'm going to go ahead and because the next set of stairs are going to start this block. So three, one, two, three. Make sure that I can go down these stairs without bumping my head. So we'll just go ahead and 
We're not going to do the next set, but we're going to just get started on the next set. Staircases are actually a really big deal when you do this because I kind of got started on this project before and unfortunately I lost it. I got all the way down to D deck with everything completed. It was great. The grand staircase had like four levels to it. Everything was done and I lost it, unfortunately. And then I was just about it for a year and now I'm motivated to do it again. So Here we are. Went down three, I believe, and then I was, and then I love it. Walk down this. Oh yeah. So I just wanted to get started on that there. Okay. And this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and clear that out. You know, I can walk down it fine. And right here, we're gonna put that way no one falls down over it. Just look at my notes. And that is, okay. Start. This is a, uh, I believe this is B deck that I'm standing on right now. And that is good. So we're going to go ahead and head out. It's done there. Actually, how am I going to do the lights? I'm not going to use torches. Daylight detector. No. Ugly block. Um, use it as like lamp. So we can go ahead and put one. That. There. I don't want to like peeking out the other side. My here. I mean, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but we'll go ahead and let's pop. Oh, no, that is the top. I want that. And actually, you know what? I'm going to, yeah. And I don't want, I think I'm able to put this there because block it. Uh, what happened? Actually, the elevator shaft is probably where the um that elevator shaft words or used to pull it where. But... It'll be good for now. We'll uh, we'll come back to it if we need to come back to it. We are going to go this section here. I know how to break this room up. So all of this area right here is broken off. The raised roof over the first class smoking room. So this whole outline here is the first class smoking room. This raised platform here
first we're going to start off on this side or we're going to place in the middle All room on this side. Well, we're going to put that door here. And it's, um, it's just called deck. They had a couple of rooms where people can play deck games. No, there were no window. There isn't a window here. No window. And it was uh, this room was a little bigger. So instead of putting the wall right here, we're going to actually put the wall right here. And the room wasn't very big at all. Go ahead and small room. Uh, I don't have any problem putting like a glowstone in. games that's where that is and then over on the side the entrance to the other room kind of one over one more over now this room was the same length here and actually it's just build a was not a window here. This was the second class cloak. This is where probably second class, second class passengers kept their, let's see here. Where is it? I don't even know what it's called, really. No, we're going to just put armor stands in. Now go more here. And that's where they kept their uh, their robes, their suits, or whatever they wore. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll use leather. And that's, that's good. Let's get our things back. And I don't know what was here. I think it was a. I don't think it was that important. There, I think it was a fence. Now, while I have my um, ocean worn out, I'm actually going to go back into here to see how bright it is. See what we're dealing with. And okay, this isn't so bad. Does get a little darker around here, so you know what? Actually, let's uh, it comes out here. I don't think it hurts to put a like a glowstone in that. I don't think that hurts. And then more uh, we'll have more light down here when we get into here. You use that for now. And that's not bad. Okay. So on the other side, there's the second class cloakroom. Nine.
Okay, bad. Now there was another room. Uh, there's a fan room. The door for that is right on not this room and not there, but here. And there was no window in this room. The fan room. And it had a weird little contraption. And so over here on the other side, it was a very small room. It looks like it was about half the size of the cloak room. So probably out to here. And it's probably the same length of cost. So now the turbine room, the turbine engine casing. Yeah. So I'm going to clear some of this out. I know this was the fourth boiler and it was a fake. So turbine engine casing room. Kind of big. It's had some shafts and things like that. Uh, we'll get into that here soon, but I just want to mark out where the funnel is. So let's clear a little bit of this out. Okay, we'll clear one more. Just that way I kind of have a reference. And we'll just that. double it in length. Nothing wrong with a glowstone in there. And this was the fan room. So how am I gonna make this? Uh, let's go with black. Let's go with a block coal. Doesn't really matter what I get rid of. Black stone wall, polished black stone wall. Get a little decorative. And we'll go with not a best cobblestone, just a regular. Lock right here. And instead of cobblestone, let's use a Let's use a cobblestone wall. I might look a little better. And even though that connects, that's not really that big of a deal, actually. Not going for uh, absolute 100% perfection, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, I'll. Lose my mind over this. So we'll call that, we'll call that a fan. And then the deck storage on the other side. Really small room I built just right on the other side of this. But yeah, it's just deck storage. That's all it says. There, uh, there wasn't a window. And we'll just um, grab my armor stand. And I'm not going to put anything on these. We'll just, that'll be kind of an idea that it's storage. And that. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get out our sign. Sign. All this. And room. Side. Deck storage. Perfect. The turbine engine casing went. Oh, 
it's covered about a third of this whole thing. So let's go around here. There wasn't really a door to this room. I think it was just a blank space. And I'm seeing the outlines of the boiler. So actually, based on where the outlines of the boiler are, and extend these rooms one X. Oh no, I go back and get my oak planks. this over one yeah go ahead and bring this over one to this whole Polished black stone. Where was it? Ah, you know what? Let's go chiseled. Chiseled, polished black stone. That might look a little better. My glowstone in the corner. Chiseled. Actually, this is going to go here, there, oh. and looks a little better here, coming to here. And okay, that's a lot better. What happened was the deck storage in the fan room covered about the first fourth of the boiler room. So I needed to bring those blocks over one. And the end of the boiler room ends. The turbine casing engine room comes to about here. Right there. Okay. Went across thing. And we can. Okay. Now, turbine engine casing doesn't really tell me much of anything. It just says kind of like an empty room without any doors. There's an entrance to a shaft. Let me just read this here. What is this called? It's like a room. It's just a massive hole going down to the bottom of the ship. It's a, there's a similar setup in the other boilers as well. These windows, this, are those windows?
think, according to my notes. Good. There was another fan room. It was over here. And the entrance was probably here. This is where that's actually. This is the turbine engine casing room. Yeah, it is. Okay. So I don't want this door here then. Probably should be closer to here. this room actually blocked off about here and that's where the hands will go this window this window this window this window Another fan room. We'll get to those fans here in a second. Play around on the other side. Now this was where that way only sections. They had I wanna say it was just it was a light. It was like a light room where the light there's a light that comes up all the way down from the engine room in this area. So this is where building this ship really becomes a pain in the ass sometimes because the goal is to make this line up with everything that I build underneath to get everything to line up uh, as accurately as I can. And it's, uh, it's tough. So far, that's the start we have. I'll keep that there. There. We'll just call this employees only. So we're gonna go to our sign, sign. Please. Perfect. Call it that. This is another fan room. And we could go ahead and, you know, close on light here, here, and there were two fans. All. There. They're pretty shitty fans, but I mean, they just need to look like something complex. So it's kind of more so what I'm going for. It's just something complex. I think that stands out where you walk in and you're like, what the hell is that? Fan room. And that's nice. That is the fourth boiler. And the staircase from the deck down to a deck. And I got started down here on the stairs to B deck. And then we have our elevator here. And 
And you know what? That's uh, that's all I'm willing to do for now. Uh, I would do more, but I have to actually get ready to go to work here soon. And, uh, you know, that's joyful, <laughs> to say the least. So there's a lot more. Obviously, as you know, there's a lot more work to do. But this is a start. I don't want to, you know, half-ass any of this. It's going to be it's going to be some work. And you got reciprocating engine room. Uh, this was a functioning boiler, unlike the other one. So that was, and oh, this, yep, reciprocating engine room. So a lot of this, especially in this area, is just blank. There's nothing in that room. Tank rooms. We have the engine smoking room, which is right here, probably just only for staff. Or... Oh, so it looks like a, some tables and chairs, like kind of like a break room. Uh, we have freshwater tanks over on the other side. Uh, boiler casing is completely empty inside, so I'm going to take out the, uh, the gray wool underneath this boiler here. Uh, we have a, there's going to be a staircase that actually falls between here and here. Staircase is going to go probably build around here. It's just going to be single stairs down. It's an employee only staircase. Um, I'll have to work on that. A lot of it is just, there's officer's mess. Figure that out. Yeah, it's just going to be a lot of research and a lot of figuring stuff out. A lot of it is I'm going to be figuring out as I go. Raised roof over the, this is the lounge and reading and writing room, which is right where the compass is. There's a dome over the lounge. And that's actually this. This is the, this is I think the dome. Yeah, this is the dome over the lounge, which is right where this is. So underneath this, when I build the lounge, I'm gonna have to make sure that the dome, um, like glass blocks with a, some nice looking glowstone. And then all the way over here, we have the grand staircase. And then this, uh, this whole area here from Grand Staircase on, believe it or not, the entrance, the officers can enter through the Grand Staircase because all of the first, the first officer Murdoch, second officer Lightoller, all of the officers from Titanic had their cabins back here. And then they had their cabins, they had their cabins, and then they enter through where the Grand Staircases. Okay, so that, that's all I'm willing to do for today. There's a, a lot more coming. Got a good bit done. And my goal for my next video, we'll see how much I could do, but my goal for the next video is to just tidy up some of the things over here. And then I'm gonna try to aim to get this, this done and more if I'm able to. So Keith signing off, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys all next time.